Good morning, staff and students. You are joining us for the Falcon News on WCFE. I'm Mrs. Johnson, the fourth and fifth grade lead teacher. And I'm Ms. Bishop, the third, second and third grade lead teacher. Today is Monday, June 6, 2016. Today, Liliana, Ariella, Grant, and Tristan from Mrs. Beck and Granatus' first grade class will lead us in the pledge. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing for the Fur Falcon Pledge. As a Fur Falcon, I pledge to be a responsible member of our Falcon family. I will do my best to soar higher than the rest by making good choices and showing respect. It's all up to me. You may be seated. <laughs> Mrs. Bishop, what kind of weather can we expect today? Well, this morning it is cloud, cloudy and it's 72 degrees. We will have cloudy skies today and a high of 86 degrees. Whew, it's already a little warm. Yes. Mrs. Johnson, what are we going to have for lunch today? Well, mm -hmm. I think it's a surprise today, so <laughs> enjoy. I Falcons. love surprises. <laughs> now for all the news you need to know. You will follow Monday's schedule for Connect. All classes will have guidance. No classes will have media. According to Grolier Online, on this day in 1944, the Normandy invasion, codename Operation Overlord, began as Allied troops under the direction of Supreme Commander Dwight Eisenhower, landed on the beaches of France. This D-Day invasion initiated the final phase of World War II in Europe. Well, good to know. Also on this day in 1799, Patrick Henry, the most celebrated orator of the American Revolution, give, or, give me liberty or give me death, died. <laughs> and now Prisca is here for a book talk. And now I'm here for a book talk to share with you, um, titled World Records. This book is about um, great work records like Usain Bolt, the fastest man on two legs, and Kenshi Luto, the fastest man on four legs. Now, um, here are some other books. Uh, in the in the Seeing and Believing se um, series, machines that will thrill you, animal facts, places to amaze you, science facts. and weird animals. Thank you, Prisca. <laughs> Students, have you returned your library books? Currently, there are 151 books still checked out mm. and 175 books marked as lost. Come on, students, it's time to return those books. If you have library books, return them today. If you need to pay a library fine, please do so by Wednesday. Mm. We need those library books, people. Yes. Did you get your 2016 yearbook last week? We still have a few extra yearbooks to sell. You can still buy a yearbook any day this week in the Media Center. Your books are $25. That's a bargain. Mm -hmm. Payable by cash or check to Jostens. Again, 
you may pay with cash or check made payable to Justin's. Make sure your phone number is on your check. Don't miss your chance to get this incredible yearbook. So you can remember Miss Bishop and I always. Absolutely, of course. And now, oh my gosh, you will not believe this. It is Cam Newton here for a weekly sports talk. I love him. <laughs> Hi. I don't know if you can hear me or not, so I'm going to bring in Owen. Well, after I talk about my new show on Nickelodeon, Lodian, called <laughs> Kids, all in. Thanks, Cam. <laughs> now for Owen's weekly sports update. The NBA, Warriors face Cleveland in the second game of the finals. The Warriors beat the Cavaliers 110-77. to They are winning the series two games to none. In Major League Baseball, Orioles beat the Yankees 3-1. to Orioles scored three runs in the eighth inning after a rain delay. Toronto wins over Boston 5-4. San Francisco loses to St. Louis 3-6. Colorado beats San Diego 10-3. Jake Arrieta lost his first regular season game since July 24, 2015 to the Diamondbacks 3-2. Ras NASCAR race was rained out for the NHL. Penguins lead, lead over the Sharks two games to one for the Stan, Stanley Cup. They will play game four tonight. And that's all for my weekly sports update. Thank you, Owen. We love the Cam Newton fathead. You've done an awesome job of bringing us the latest sports updates each week. Who knows, maybe you will be a TV or radio broadcaster one day. Or work for a Duke. And you'll have to make sure you thank your first grade teacher. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the Falcon News on WCFE. Signing off, have a fabulous day for Falcons.